game that has teenagers targeting total strangers, trying to knock them out with one punch. The kids refer to it as a game called Knockout. It's reportedly on the rise across the country. The point, as one teenager says, we're doing it just for fun. So what can be done to knock out this disturbing new trend? Peter Johnson joins us. Good morning. Yeah, this really is uh, disturbing. Also known as one hitter quitter. We're seeing it now and also polar bear hunting. We're seeing an attack in Brooklyn's Crown Heights neighborhood where Jewish people have been targeted over the last couple of weeks, according to Commissioner Ray Kelly, the police commissioner here in, in New York City. Why do they call it polar bear hunting? Well, allegedly because uh, they're targeting people, bears, who happen to be the color white. And so... So there's a racial component? We, we, well, let, let me say this. There may be. Let me say this. The victims appear to have been all white, and the assailants appear to have been all black. Um, and so the mainstream media has not been discussing this at all. Greta Van Susteren uh, took it on a couple of um, nights ago, and there have been five deaths since 2011. Hmm. We've seen this in 14 different states, plus Washington, D.C., um, this is a sucker punch gone wild in which people fall to the ground and very often strike their head and die as a result of it with one punch to the back of the head or to the jaw. And usually gangs of kids who do this as a thrill event and unfortunately very often a thrill kill. And it's uh, the object is to do it in one hit get the person down with one hit and it's not they're not just targeting men i read that there was a woman uh somewhere riding a bike some guy comes out of nowhere boom and, and we've seen video we should show it again of a woman and, and it's terrifying she just goes down it's worse than a, a, a heavyweight fight we understand and we know that over time in the lowest socioeconomic uh areas in the united states boxing physical activity pugilism has been a kind of a, a way out but now we're seeing this kind of cowardly vicious dastardly attack right. on people out of the blue knocking older people women right. younger people people of all kinds to the ground sometimes to their death i i read somewhere uh, one guy was killed murdered yes essentially uh the teenager got 55 years so clearly it's assault uh, it could be murder. It could be a hate crime. Well, no, I, 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 what is the other instances? It has not. A hate crime usually requires some utterance or some motivation that's been expressed to someone else. But what could be the basis for this thing going forward? Clearly, all Americans, especially religious leaders, need to speak out in a way, and community leaders, white and black and people of all stripes, to say, listen, yeah, young fellas, if you don't understand the consequences of this, let me tell you the consequences. A, you're going to kill someone. B, you're either going to go to life, at prison for life or right. suffer the death penalty as a result of doing this. People Absolutely. need to know about this, whether this is racial or it's not racial. It's dangerous to Americans. And unfortunately, it's on the rise and we're seeing it here in New York City. And despite what they call it, it is not a game. Uh, Peter Johnson Jr., the most deadly much. game. No kidding. It's just awful. Bad. All right. Thank you, sir. Good to see you.